They're playing really aggressive, bro. See, I feel like if Mongol didn't play this aggressive, they would have been on the same type of timing, bro. Like, six, seven, eight kills before endgame. Straight running through kids, and then once you get to that endgame, Stormster's not a problem. You're extremely stacked. Like, straight up, that's how I think they would have played as well. Fuck, did I turn off the auto ads before the tournament started? There you go. They're off. Okay. Uh -huh. Thousand mats on Bucky, nine hundred on Creo, a thousand on Clicks. They're fourteen fifty above on Surge. Zone pulls towards the Boardwalk of Paradise or Believers Beach. What am I saying? Paradise. The fuck is wrong with me? I'm off the fucking drugs or something, man. <laughs> yes, yeah, sir. CTR, you were there. That's what's up, bro. That's what's up. That's what's up. We'll just put it on um, on sub only though for now. Alright. Another pad being used. Clicks is now completely out of pass. Clicks getting body shot sniped right there. The luck on that is horrible. But they're in zone and clicks. Should have boxed up and popped some minis, but it's all good. I think they should be able to get this res off. Creo and Bucky are holding. Unfortunately, get sniped and beamed at the same time on that rotate. Creo still has one launch pad left. They used a lot of their launch pads so far this game. And now Clicks is up. Another med kit being popped. Creo is very clutch for holding those three med kits, by the way. You always need to have somebody holding three meds because situations like these where first Bucky got knocked and now Clicks got knocked. And they're back to 200 HP and it's not even a problem. Seabear getting focused. Seabear putting Sun and Seven in his name. So is Saucy. A lot of Taysen fanboys these days, but who could blame him? You know, when Taysen's the best player in the world, everybody wants to rep. Everybody wants to rep. Uh, cancel this prediction. Don't run, don't run predictions this late into the game because if the replay is a few minutes delayed, they could already be dead. Um, Robin going down. Very well done. Nine kills so far on this trio, and first moving zone is just getting started. It's just genetics, man. You can watch me this end game. <laughs> Say that, Buck. Say that. You guys have so many kills going into late game alone. Yeah, Dave, we don't we don't run them that late. Um, hey, chat, we're gonna take it off sub only so we can get the reaction. Your name looks fucking clean, bro. NRG Bucky. Then yeah, you got the OG name. I don't know how you did that. When I got when I got signed to TSM, my, every single org name was taken a second. You're very smart for that. Before even announcing, you probably took it, or before even tuning out your contract gift. 
Oh, it's a weird E, it's not OG. Okay, but it still it looks clean though. Nice short pad coming out. That's their lo last launch, but never mind. They got one more Bucky. Let's have one more pad here. 1200 mats, 1500 above on Surge. They're playing this low ground layer. 14 trio still left. They're already at 13 points. Remember, the goal in this session is 114 to qualify. Big P90 beam coming out there. Quix's name looks so dumb in replays. <laughs> you can see the I, the capital I right there. C I I X. But it looks good in the lobby. Mass left on Bucky. I think he dropped a lot to Creo. Creo only. Yeah, Creo picks him up. 200 mass being picked up. Hooks it down to only three builds. They gotta make some plays here. They gotta make some moves. 18 points. Nine shields left. A lot of placements to be had. Nice kill picked up by Bucky here. Body gonna be tossed, and it's gonna be looted by clicks. That's Bucky's fifth kill of the game. 11th kill for the trio top six situation now they're already at 23 points bucky applying pressure down to zero builds bucky needs to pop some heals here he's extremely low clicks getting cracked as well creo's the only one with some decent shield on the trio they're holding guns out bucky popping his minis the come can coming in clutch Creo piecing the fuck out of these kids. Well done by Creo. Bucky picking up another kill and Mats being picked up as well now. 150 Mats onto Bucky. They still have that Chuck Cannon. There are full trio live on low ground. There's three trios left. Three full trios. But the two trios are fighting for heights. So now they can just spray up, double spray up. And another kill coming out from Bucky. Why has he got to freeze the best points? Bucky waiting for that finish, that Siphon's gonna put him at 180 HP If it comes in any second now, and yes it does, 180 HP Bucky dropping another one down, getting another knock, and Bucky getting another knock Bucky is just genetically too gifted My man's 250 mats, can he get the win? Oh my god, Bucky! It's 1v2 now, can he win this heal game? Bucky with 10 kills by himself, 18 kills on the trio, another come cannon being picked up there's so many heals down here what is he gonna be able to win this game it's a 1v1 he's completely out of charges and no he doesn't win but 10 kills being picked up by bucky the other kid still had so many heals left 18 kills second place for bucky clicks and creo what a fucking god trio this is this trio is looking very good